Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Hopefully you liked yesterday's video on how fast can a Lego EV3 or Mindstorms robot go. So today I want to just alter that a little bit because some of you were like, oh, it wasn't at 100% you know, speed. So today I want to just show you again quickly how to import a brick program to show you that brick speed is only 70%. And then bump this up to 100 and then basically go through the same math as we did yesterday to figure out how fast can it go at 100% speed. So I have a quick brick program here. It's just going to be a forward for one second. So if we go over here to my laptop, let me just show you real quick how to get this brick uh, program imported here. Ooh, my bad. Okay, so you're going to go up to tools. Just click on import brick program. I called it speed. So uh, I told my students to delete these old files here. But anyway, we're going to look for speed. There's speed right there. And then you just click import. OK, and so there we go. There's the proof that brick speed is only 70%. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is bump this up to a hundred there we go there it's go oh sorry that's out of focus there we go 100 100 percent speed and now i'm going to take you through that same process that i did yesterday once i download this onto the brick okay so i will meet you back at the table where we will see how far this goes in one second, but now going at 100% speed. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, everybody, I have this robot ready. This has the program on it for going forward for one second at 100% uh, speed. So, like yesterday, I'm gonna run this three times and then I'll just take the average of where this ends up. So, here we go. It's all lined up. And Here we go. Okay, I'm going to mark right there. Let's run this again. Okay, a little bit farther, not much. And I'm going to run it a third time. That almost looks like it's in the very first spot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, it doesn't look like it's super far, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out and get you the same, like the distance we did yesterday. So I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I already measured this out. So from here to here was 12 inches, and then it went one and one fourth past that. So at 100% speed, it went 13 and 1 fourth inches instead of the 11 and 5 eighths inches like it was yesterday at 70% speed. So let's hop back into Mr. Hino's desk for math and let's figure out now how many miles per hour 13 and 1 fourths is going to be. Okay, everybody, you're at Mr. Hino's desk, and unlike yesterday, I did the whole calculation for you so I don't have to keep cutting away for each section. So let me explain everything and then we have our answer. So we went 13 and 1 fourth inches in one second. So all I did was I took the 13.25 and multiplied that by 60 in order to figure out how many inches this would go in a minute. So our robot at 100% speed would go 795 inches in a minute. So then what I wanted to do is figure out like yesterday, how many feet would that be per minute? So I took the 795, divided it by 12, and I end up with 66.25 feet per minute. So then what I wanted to do next is then figure out, okay, how much would that be uh, in an hour? So since there are 60 seconds, sorry, 60 minutes in an hour, I multiplied the 66.25 feet by 60 to get this now in an hour. 
So this robot at 100% speed is going to travel 3,975 feet in an hour, still knowing that that's under a mile an hour, because again, that's 5,280 feet in an hour. So then I just took this number, divided it by a mile, or the 5,280 feet, and we get 0.75 or three-fourths of a mile per hour. So if you remember yesterday, um, at 70% speed, it was 66, 0.66 um, miles per hour. And today, we get 0.75 miles an hour. So that is the difference of having it at 70% speed as compared to 100% speed. So there is 70%, there's 100%. So I was thinking, could we possibly get it over a mile an hour? And no, we couldn't. But there you have it. At, at its fastest speed, we can't get it over a mile an hour. You know, I'll have to, once I get back to my class, maybe try the, uh, the Sirius robot with those motocross wheels. Maybe that can be over a mile an hour. We'd have to find out. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still watching. Hopefully you're still having a great summer. And hopefully you found this fun and cool to see. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.